Hi, I'm Hillary, and I want to welcome you to this week's Digital Dose of Art from Cedarhurst Center for the Arts in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Today I'm going to introduce the painting that you can see behind me, uh, which was created in the year 1925 by artist George Lukes. I've been drawn to this painting uh, more and more over the past couple of months and really felt compelled to share it with you all uh, this week. The title of this painting is called Saturday Night. And as many of us are spending more and more of our Saturday nights at home with our families and with our spouses, um, completing everyday or weekly tasks such as shaving, you know, this is something that I have been coming back to a lot more. It's funny because of all the paintings in our permanent collection here at Cedarhurst, I've never really been a huge fan of this particular painting. Um, However, like I said, in the past couple months, I've really been circling back to it and looking at it more closely and reading a little bit more about it um, and just really trying to learn more about the artist. And so I just wanted to share it with you because I feel during the current pandemic, um, it has kind of a new context for me. And that's something that's so interesting about artwork is that really the things that we're living through in our current context or learning what the artist was thinking and feeling when they created a specific piece of art can really allow us as viewers to view it in a whole new light. And that's something that I have directly experienced with this specific work of art. Um, George Lukes, before he was a prominent painter who earned a living that way, uh, he actually earned a living through a career in journalism. He did illustrations and cartoons for newspapers. And so you can see when you look at this piece up close that his brush strokes are quite hurried. Um, there's not a ton of detail within the up-close uh, proximity of this painting. This is probably one of those works that's better viewed from a bit of a distance where you can really get the overall feel of the work of art. Um, but it's something that Lukes has really mastered in that it really does have such an effect and have such a complete picture, you know, when you look at it uh, from, from a distance. And so I really appreciate that and admire that about the artist. Um, George Lukes, uh, one of the things that his fellow artists admired about him was that he would often complete a work of art in one sitting. That's very uncommon for working artists, but that's a talent or a skill that he really gleaned from his experience in journalism when they worked on deadlines and things like that. Uh, George Lukes was a member of the Ashcan School, as are many of the featured artists in Cedarhurst permanent collection. This particular painting uh, was created at Lukes's studio in Pennsylvania. Uh, he did grow up there, and so after he had made it as an artist, so to speak, he purchased a home there, and he would often retreat there during the summer. It was a coal mining town, and he would use local townies as subjects for his paintings, and that is the case in this piece of artwork as well. The gentleman is a coal miner. Uh, Saturday night, as the painting is titled, was probably his only day off during the week. And so you can see in this image his wife shaving him. Uh, I see a certain tenderness in this painting. I'm not sure if that's what Lukes was trying to portray, um, but I do appreciate that. And I, I like the way that that resonates with me as the viewer. Um, there are just so many things about this, like I said, that I'm drawn to in a whole new light given our current situation. And so I really, uh, really was eager to share it with you all this week. And I hope that you've enjoyed a little bit of the background that I've been able to provide. I hope uh, that Cedarhurst will again be open to the public very soon and you can come and see uh, this piece of art for yourself. This is part of our permanent collection gallery, so it's on display um, all year long. Uh, and until next time, I encourage you to tune in again next week for another digital dose of art, but I really appreciate you joining me today. Thank you so much.